Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, oh, just one of those ones, okay? One of those ones, but we have Cucarella to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is 5'8", high medium work rates, left-footed, 4-star skills with a 4-star weak foot. So he meets all the minimum requirements to be a decent player in the game. Player traits, he has the flair traits. In games, he's got 89 acceleration with 89 sprint speed, which is good for base card stats. You don't necessarily need to improve that. He's got 94, 84, 87 at 76 volleys with 82 composure. So we're obviously going to be giving him the finisher chemistry style to boost his shooting as much as possible while also boosting his dribbling as much as possible because if you take a look at the card stats uh, with the improvements from the finisher chemistry style we're giving him a 97 99 91 89 to 99 so ball control at 89 should be interesting but hopefully he actually dribbles well in game the variations before were kind of whatever but hopefully with this card he definitely does dribble a little better in game because he's five foot eight with a lean body type so he should dribble well in game we're obviously going to be testing that out in game as well so with his passing base card stats look great this is the type of card that looks like he can be used in any of the attacking positions based off of all the base stuff that he has right he even has the 97 stamina with 74 strength and 84 for aggression so 84 for aggression is definitely very helpful when you're small with the pace that you have to be able to move across the pitch really quickly um and then on top of that this card actually has some defensive stats as well so with this card uh we're obviously gonna be testing out the two main things which is going to be dribbling and attacking ai because he actually has a defensive presence in your team so if you're gonna be lined up in like a three five two or something and you want to use him as a left mid as someone who likes to get in behind and come back in the fence this guy looks super ideal to use in that way right so it still looks like a really cool card the grind for it is kind of annoying because it's through squad battles and division rivals but you know, with squad battles, uh, as long as you do that, like, L trigger shield thing on the edge of the 18-yard box, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I was just watching Nick Merckx's stream while I was uh, doing this gameplay objective. But uh, we are going to be testing him out in the attacking position because I need to see if he has good attacking AI. Um, I do mostly see this card being used maybe in the cam position, but there's no obvious one for him because... Like I said, it's a card that you could definitely use anywhere, but we like to try them out in certain positions, uh, striker, cam, so that way we can test out their attacking AI as much as possible, while also dribbling with the card as much as possible as well. So, uh, yeah, the instructions will just be, it's supposed to be on balance, where we're doing some certain things for the objective, stay forward, stay forward, and then this guy and stay forward too. Yeah, we'll do cut pass lanes for this as well. Then these guys will just tell them to be on balanced. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we'll be using some aggressive tactics again. We want to force some things out of the car to see how well he adapts to each situation. So yeah, let's get into a game and uh, see how he plays, guys. Okay, so we are working with a pretty meta-oriented team. I think he's working towards the uh, 100 chemistry with this team. It's definitely interesting for sure. From both teams, set the tempo for the rest of the match. Oh, it doesn't fully commit in there. Okay, interesting. We'll see if that's like a consistent thing with him. Because to be honest with you guys, I have an idea of what he's going to be like because of base characteristics from the other cards. But um, we'll see. Okay, he makes that run in behind as he switches to the middle. He does. Get him on that finesse shot. Nicely done. So what's important, obviously, when it comes to attacking AI with players in FIFA 21 is those angled runs when they go upwards and then they go instantly downwards, right? And they have to understand that space immediately, which he does do right there, which is awesome. I still turn around pass. We'll take that. Pushes all the way to the side here, holds his position. Go for a heel to heel. Nice. Oh, we should have taken the extra dribble right there. Half Coqueta is usually pretty good in those areas, just to kind of accelerate the ball, accelerate the ball into a certain space. Oh, well done. Just testing out his dribbling a little bit. It's definitely um, it's definitely usable for sure. It's obviously not as responsive as it probably should be with the body type and dribbling stats that he has, but it's still pretty good. Angled run upwards. Stays in the middle, okay. Might be a cam that's probably like mostly a uh, left mid, right mid cam as well. Let's see what the vibes are. Gonna touch this ball here. 
croqueta, little dribble, shot. We get that angle there, nice. Right there, I just use like regular left stick dribbling just to open up the space for myself because sometimes your timing is a little bit off for that regular body feint to get around the goalkeeper or even just for the uh, ball roll touch. Um, he's doing okay so far for me. He's not necessarily a player that I would 100% use at striker, but obviously we're using him there just to test out his uh, attacking AI as much as possible, which is decent. It's definitely not the best one, um, but it's definitely good enough to be able to use in this game for sure. We're gonna have this space right here. Let's do a little skill move, ball roll, fake shot, nice little dribble, fake shot again, fake shot again, oof. Yeah, so you can definitely see that his dribbling is a little bit off, for sure. A little pass off. Ball roll. Strike immediately. Under pressure as well. Oh, what's going on? Okay. It's good movement right there, to be honest. Not bad at all. Let's see what he does here after the pass. This guy has a space here. He starts to make that run. Very comfortable when in possession. Well done, little dummy. Nice, ball roll, heel to heel. Good stuff. It's always good to do the extra skill moves to get past the goalkeeper over there. Yeah, his attacking AI is decent, guys. At least it's not generic. Obviously, I've reviewed players in the past uh, like Anthony and Barnes and their attacking AI just isn't it. This card's definitely moving across the pitch pretty decently. Again, like I said, it's not the best one, but he's still doing a good job. His dribbling does feel off though, guys, so I will say that it's not the most responsive. It's not as responsive as I thought it would be, uh, considering the body type that he has with the finisher chemistry style, boosting a lot of his dribbling stats uh, into the high 90s, mid 90s, um, but it's still incredibly usable for sure. But what I want to do this time is I want to try him out as a cam. Yeah, I want to try him out as a cam with Dembele and Suarez up top. It's kind of like, you know when I've reviewed uh, Dembele's card and how I said that Dembele doesn't have the best attacking AI, but he has decent attacking AI? It's like that, right? Nice turnaround pass there. We'll take that. See what space he works with here. Okay, so he stays back into his original position. We'll take that. Here we go. Does he angle upwards here? Nope. Someone occupies that position. All right. We'll go for the first time here. Nice. Too bad the through balls for regular passes that should work are terrible in this game. <laughs> yeah, his dribbling is nice, guys. It's uh, Like I said, it's not as responsive as I thought it would be, for sure, 100%, but it's still pretty good. It's not like Dembele levels. Like, obviously, with Dembele, you have to work with his physical and his height. You don't have to work with the physical and height part for this card. Like I said, guys, because this card actually has a defensive presence, he could be really cool to use in, like, a 3-5-2 or something, right? Always very important to have these types of cards in those areas. Oh, I just wanted to... So, he did the animation to jump over the player, which is why it kind of screwed up my... Uh, Finesse shot animation right there. Nice finesse shot. Powerful. Very, very powerful. That was good. It wasn't like lofted by any means. Um, I think his center of gravity definitely helps out with those ones for sure. Because he's not like a tall player. He doesn't have to put like this emphasis animation on it. So it's definitely helpful. His uh, lower rated cards were definitely decent at doing that as well. I will tell you guys this right now. I wanted to try a shot from there. Obviously, it was way too close to the goalkeeper to be consistent there. But I will tell you guys this right now. This card's attacking AI is significantly better than the versions before it. Like, the versions before it, I was like, oh, man, his attacking AI is so generic, you know? But, um, no, this card definitely moves across the pitch way better. I, I was even mentioning to one of my... Um, one of my mods that like, uh, his, his, I think it was the 86, 84. I was like, ah, this is, it's not really doing much for me. You know what I'm saying? Not really doing much. Let's got a skill move off here just for the bands. Ooh, there we go. Nicely done. Oh, I actually got that. That was actually sick. Nice, man. We'll take that. 
when I think of like generic cards, I'm always gonna think of Harvey Barnes, bro. Like if there's ever a gameplay objective card, I'll just let you guys know. Like, hey guys, at least it doesn't feel like Barnes. <laughs> All right, guys, so this time we're going to be using him in the uh, cam position in general. I did switch him to that position afterwards. Um, yeah, he's pretty decent, guys. To be honest with you guys, it's it's good that his uh, attacking AI is not generic. Uh, and it's good that his dribbling is actually pretty decent as well. It's not as good as I thought it would be, 100%, because of the lean body type in the high 90s, mid 90s uh, for the dribbling stats with the finisher chemistry style. But it's still pretty good, you know what I'm saying? It's just not like as responsive as I thought it would be. Angled, okay, do you adjust in this situation? Stays upwards in the cam spot. Okay, let's work with the strikers to see if he goes back into the middle here. Aggressive run upwards. Interesting. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And he could really get at the opposition. Oh, he actually gets that angle right there. Let's go. Nicely done. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but when he plays in the cam position, he likes to linger on the sides a lot. You know what I'm saying? He likes to linger on the sides a lot, but that was a good finish with him. By the way, I'm totally cool with that. Like, like again, it's very important to not have generic attacking AI because you can work with these types of things that these uh, cards end up doing. Uh, yeah, like I said, guys, he's a type of card that I feel like you can pretty much use in any of the attacking positions. With him specifically, it doesn't really feel like there's a best place for him, right? But... Maybe because of his defensive stats, left mid, right mid in that actual left mid position would be nice because of the uh, comeback and defense with him because he has those defensive stats, right? See this little space right here. See if we can utilize it. Shot from that angle. Bro. Holy man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. His shooting has been pretty good, man. Even the finesse shots that he's taking are, like, really powerful. Powerful, accurate, precise, you know? Those are, like, really tough angles to score from, man. And he's doing a great job. GG's. Those are those uh, low percentage strikes that we talk about, you know? Oh, man. I just wanted to try, like, a nice little finesse shot across goal right there. Oh, dude. I mean... Like I said, guys, he's taking really good shots from tough angles, man. Intercepting it intelligently. Could be a chance to break here. Nice weighted pass. Let's go. Need to cover. Nice little settled. Wait for that run again. First time. Ah. Not enough power before. Not enough power behind uh, Fatih Shah right there. He's pretty cool, guys. I, I enjoy using him, man. He's not bad at all, dude. I thought he was going to be super generic. I'm, I'm being completely honest with you guys. Like, as I was doing the objective, I was like, oh my god, he feels generic. No. But, like, dude. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, you can kind of see his dribbling not feeling as good as it probably should, you know? You can definitely see that. But, like I said, it's still decent for sure. Body type definitely compensates for it a lot, man. You can definitely tell that he doesn't have aggressive attacking AI. It's like a combination of being decent and selective at the same time. But uh, it's definitely not aggressive by any means. Which is cool to have, to be honest. Because a card like this, guys, honestly, if you were to use in the center mid position, it actually is pretty nice. Now, the reason why his shot doesn't come off as well there is because the type of drag back that he does there is an emphasized drag back. So the shot itself is not going to come off nicely, right? Has to be more sharp in regards to that. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Cucurella card with the finisher chemistry style. Um, I liked him. I thought he was pretty solid. I didn't think he was generic, which is good. Uh, I, I was afraid that he was going to be generic when I was actually improving this card from the previous versions. But uh, with 89 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, I think that's a pretty good base card stat to have in any of the attacking positions. Obviously, in this game, it's always nice to have more because the through balls and the counterattacks are so effective. But regardless, 89-89 is still incredibly usable in this game. Uh, with his shooting stats being improved with the finisher chemistry style, it is noticeable once you get into really specific situations. His power strikes across goal actually come off really smoothly. And if you get those certain touches for his finesse shots, they actually come off really nice crisp and powerful but obviously you can tell that he doesn't have the traits in game because um, it would definitely be very noticeable with how uh, crisp they kind of come off right um, 
With the dribbling, the dribbling was not as good as I thought it would be because looking at the stats, I thought it would be better. Maybe it's a combination of his ball control and his composure under tight situations. Um, but here's the thing with this card is that his dribbling is still pretty good, right? Because of the five foot eight height and the lean body type that he has, right? With his attacking AI, I would say it was decent. I wouldn't say it was good or great. Good or great are definitely the ideal ones to have in this game. Like players that consistently see the space in certain ways. Uh, with Cucurella... It would be nice if he was a little bit more aggressive in certain situations, right? He's a little bit more conservative, which is fine because sometimes it actually creates these disguise runs that open up space for other players in your team, right? Um, with his defensive stats being the way that it is, like I said, guys, I do think that this card is a card you mostly use in the left mid, right mid position just because of the fact that he has that attacking and defensive presence, which I personally think makes a big difference for a club like, th or, you know, for a card like this. With his dribbling stats being as it is, I mean, dude, you can even make him a fullback if you really want to with a shadow chemistry style and you boost his defense that much and he actually has an attacking presence. He looks really cool in regards to that too. But not only that, but if you have this card as one of your center mids, right? Center mids, shadow chemistry style. He's got 99 acceleration with 99 sprint speed. He's got great defensive stats and he also has good dribbling, shooting, passing, and physicality um, for your team. So... In my opinion, guys, it's a card that you can use, I mean, pretty much anywhere, really. I mean, you can even use him as a center back if you really want to uh, with the shadow chemistry style. But obviously, we tested him out in the attacking area to see what he was like there. With a finisher chemistry style, he would definitely be very nice. But like I said, guys, shadow chemistry style, it's definitely very ideal for a card like this in that centering position. Because with decent attacking AI, he was kind of like a select... He was like... He was a combination of being selective and decent, right? It's a combination of the two. So it's not amazing, but in that center mid position, it would be really nice to have. So I think it's a cool card, man. I think it's definitely worth the gameplay objective grind for all the different things that you can work with your team. Um, in my case, I was using Anzu Fati with him as a left mid because Anzu Fati on seven chemistry is cool for me. So um, yeah, there's a lot of different things you could definitely work with uh, a card like this in your team. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.